Hello, this is Joanna from Houser. This is my first video blog. I'm starting to do a video blog because hmm, I'm injured, that's about new. So no typing for me for a little while. So here's what I'm gonna be talking about. I'm gonna talk about ed camps. That's one of my favorite activities. It's something that I really like. I'm just gonna let you know what it is about and hope you like it too. The first ed camp was organized in Philadelphia in 2010. And it was organized after some educators participated in something that was called a bar camp. A bar camp was considered a, a conference. It was not a, a, a set up conference with presenters that had something already made and prepared for the audience. It was based just on the interest of the people. So all the sessions were organized based on what the people wanted to know at that point in time. It comes out a really great way to get your professional development going because they are organized all over the country. So no matter where you are, you can get to go to one of those aid camps. And let me tell you, they are free. Yes, you are right, they are free. That's one of the best things. You can get your professional development without paying a penny. Um, now let me tell you how they are organized. So you get there in the morning, they run normally from, I don't know, let's say 8 to maybe 2 um, p.m. And when you get there, the organizers are so good at putting everything together in the morning. So all the participants have in little sticky notes um, written their suggestions for the sessions. Um, some educators also say, okay, I would like to be the leader for this session. So the organizers put all these little sticky notes together and organize the sessions in the morning. They take about 45 minutes to an hour, but that is a really great time for us to do some networking, uh, meet some new people, talk and collaborate. We are educators, that's the best thing that we do. So once they organize all the sessions, they have special boards and those boards are organized already with a special uh, links that are going into the notes for that session. Once you get to the session, the session is not um, a common session for a conference. You don't have to just sit and get and just listen, but it's a really awesome collaboration going on because what you do is you get there, you see it in some, sometimes in a circle, sometimes in some other formations, but what you do is you talk and you collaborate. And obviously you will find always people that have more experience than you and you will get some really good ideas and you will get some awesome links and, um, and just resources in general. So in this type of events, the people are not the experts. What is the expert is the rule. There is a rule that is very nice to follow when you go to an ed camp. It's not like every other conference where you, once you get into the session, you have to sit and you have to stay because it's rude to leave the room. Well, in ed camps, you are encouraged to just leave the room if you are not convinced of the content of the session. So if you feel like this session is not for me, it's uh, not what I was expecting, well, you can get up and you can go. Nobody's going to say anything about it. Nobody's going to be um, having a feelings hurt or anything like that. So you just have to leave and look for the best session for you. So that is one of the most important um, activities. Once you pick your sessions, if you don't like it, you can move. Something very interesting to mention is that the organizers of the ed camps um, have already put together in advance a, session, a, a document that is called the session board. And this session board is a Google document that has all the sessions put together and it has a little link for uh, the session notes. So everybody is invited into this document and you can get into the link of the notes. And this is something that really impressed me the first time I participated on an ed camp. Um, everybody in the room has access to this note. So if you are going to a special session, you get into the link and you start typing all the notes, whatever you are getting out of the session. You also put your Twitter link so you have a way to, again, connect with the people that is participating in this session. And by the end of the session, you have a collection of notes that are being made uh, collaboratively. Um, everybody's ideas, everybody takes um, everybody's um, takeaway messages, they will be on those notes. And the most and the really great thing about this is you can take that session board 
home with you. Once you leave the ed camp, the session board is always there for you to come back and consult. Now, if you like ed camps and you're already participating in ed camps, let me tell you, how would you like to see this model applied to your craft, to your classroom? How would you like to see your students in a student ed camp? Let me tell you, it is really, really great. You can see your students participating, collaborating in their maximum capacity. Um, so let me tell you how I do it. When I do an ed camp with my students, what I do is I collect the sticky notes with their ideas, their suggestions, and I also try to get the students to be the leaders of, in, of the session. Um, that doesn't mean that they are going to teach other students, and that is exactly what I tell my, um, my students. You are not teachers, you will not be the expert, you're just facilitating and collaborating. And that takes a little bit of the weight of being the leader of that specific session. But I organize my sticky notes, I organize my sessions in advance. We don't have time to um, do kind of that kind of organization within the class. So I do it in advance. I do my sessions uh, with the sticky notes today in the ed camp with my students. I organize it next class. Once I do it in my classroom, um, I have done it in a small scale, but I don't doubt this will be a very successful model to do in a bigger scale. Um, so in my case, I put the tables together and each one of those tables is a session. I have about five sessions at once and, um, or yeah, five sessions at once and we have three um, times in which they can go um, to whatever session they want. So here's uh, the, the most important idea of this. Your students will get to go wherever they want to go. They can choose and pick the session that they are interested on. So they are learning what they want to learn and what they need to learn. So this is a very good differentiation strategy for your students. Let me tell you, it is really, really great idea. You will see your students engage. This is a great activity to use in your class. If you want to learn more about how to organize a student ed camps or learn more about ed camps in general, just take a look down there to the resource section. I have a Google uh, Sites with all the directions and all the little pieces that you need to be able to organize your student ed camp, how to share documents, how to organize your session board, even some templates that you can use um, that will be really easy. You will have your student ed camp in no time. Thank you for watching and hope that is useful and I'll see you next time.